Hello YouTube, I haven't made a video in a while, so I found some interesting applications some um, to make videos on. There might be a couple on YouTube already, um, like um, reviews already. But uh, in this video, I'm just going to be talking about this application you see here. Uh, it's called Socialite. I first <clears throat> got the idea from a life hacker. And I saw that it was pretty interesting, so I decided to try it out. And the site's here, um, realmaxsoftware.com um, slash socialite slash, well, I guess the last slash is optional, but yeah. Um, but I can, I'm going to put this uh, link in the description, so there's no need to hurry and copy it down. But what this app does is, it's kind of like a conglomerate of feeds. So say take in your Facebook, your Twitter, your Google Reader um, feeds and then it puts it all into one application and it does so in a very elegant way and it's very pretty for like a lot of other Mac apps so uh, Google Reader, RSS, Flickr, Facebook, Twitter and Dig personally I only have Twitter and Facebook here because I use NetNewsWire for Google Reader or G Reader as some people call it um, and I'm just going to show you a quick overview uh, on the app. So you can see my Facebook. I'm not going to go there, but I'm just sh showing you that it does Facebook. Um, but here's my uh, Twitter feed, what I see. And again, you can see it's very nice and pretty. And it's pretty um, functional too. So if you just want to type out a tweet, put it here, send, and you're done. And it has a lot of options too. Um, first time I went to the preferences. I was kind of astounded to see all the options. So if you go to general, there are lots and lots of options, whether it's what URL shortening uh, software it is, open links in the background, or whether you want to shift to your browser. And as you can see here, my default RSS is not use wire. And it really has a lot of options. Um, font size, I turn mine to large because I think that the normal is way too small, but it's up to you. And refreshing time so there are really a lot of options and this does do a growl integration so if you, have, you use growl which I'm sure a lot of you do like Mac users um, this does integrate with growl it has shortcuts that you can change at your whim and this is the heads up display which I can, I can show it right now so this is the heads up display um, you can even send tweets out from here but I'm I personally don't use this. I just stick to the main application. I guess some people might find it useful. Um, and there's quick send, uh, update. I'm not going to show that. And there's Twitter. Um, these are settings specifically for Twitter, and there are settings specifically for Facebook. As I have added Facebook. Um, there's Instapaper. So if you want to, like, put it uh, bookmark a link on Instapaper or save it in Instapaper, not sure what the right term is, you can do that. I actually have it set up just to see how it goes. I personally don't use Instapaper very often. I like bookmarking um, my websites or sometimes Evernote, but not really. Um, here's a photo upload. If I enable it, there's, it um, supports TwitPic, Ember, and Mobi Picture. I haven't tried any of those, so I don't know how it goes. But that's just a general overview of the settings. So again, it's very elegant, and for each post, there are multiple options. So here, there's the Insta paper, and uh, you can unfollow, um, search for user profile, profile peak, add to address book, direct message, and if you double click a lot of these, it actually opens up in your browser, which is good and bad. I actually would prefer if it just showed here, but it is possible to, for example, um, show a profile here. So yeah, as you can see, I um, follow Doc D R B U K. He does not pronounce it Doctor Who. Yeah, it's D R B U K. Um, uh, and if you go down. It's pretty. The interface is similar to Tweety, um, but again, it does offer more options. It's not as simple and elegant in a way as uh, Tweety, because there are lots of icons here. Lots of um, options here, retweets, mentions, messages, favorites. So you can just go on and on and on. 
and yeah, that and the interesting, uh, the useful thing here is that, um, it, for me at least, is that it has Facebook integration because I don't really like um, how Facebook is laid out on their uh, website. So the first option I tried was the Microsoft Silverlight client for Facebook, but I didn't really like that. So I actually like the Facebook um, integration here. I'm not going to show it to you. But um, you can probably um, check it out for yourselves. Um, but it's it's pretty nice, and this is very customizable. Not in form, but it has a lot of options um, you can use. Um, you can even just use this as a normal uh, Twitter client. It's it's pretty useful. Um, yeah, it works as a Twitter client. But yeah, the main purpose that the developers um, wanted to want it to be, I guess, is as um, a f conglomerate for maybe Twitter, Facebook, and other services. So this is just a really quick overview. Um, I can go. O I cannot go over all the settings and options you can uh, use. Mm, there's also an interesting feature um, in Socialite that I have not seen in um, Tweety, which is the Twitter client I used previous to um, this application. And that is called Profile Peak. What it does, and you enter it. Say I want a Profile Peak of DRBUK. Enter, and it is now in the sidebar. So all of his tweets and his replies are going to be here. So if, and it's all in the sidebar, you can keep making multiple Profile Peaks of other people. And so in a way, it's like a filter. And when the timeline is like a Whole, the whole feed unfiltered and just just a small note how you delete this is uh, for example you go to edit delete current container and then it's gone so you can do this with anyone and it's just a short note on how you can um, kind of filter out your feeds and, or if you uh, read a lot of feeds from one person you can just kind of go there instead of going to the main feed and reading everyone. So just a small tip. And this app is technically free, but you just see like a little ad here, kind of like Tweety was before, except Tweety was inside the t uh, feed itself. I guess in a way it's like Net News Wire, but it is free for download, so download. And, and I'm not sure how much it is if you buy it. I actually got mine for free because I think a couple days ago, um, they were doing some uh, advertisement um, for the app, so that one for one day was free, and I downloaded it on that day. Got my license key, but it is oh, it costs uh, thirty two, thirty eight Canadian. So it is. I guess I wouldn't mind if I actually had the ad version. I don't think it's very intrusive, but if you really don't like the ad or you want to support the developers, it's nice um, to get the paid version. So in the end, just a quick overview, very quick overview um, of Socialite, this app here, um, and that's about it. Yeah, thanks for watching.